Hi folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the ESP8266 as a web server connected through an, uh, to an Omron 5 volt relay uh, and also connected to the Adafruit OLED 128x32 display. The electricity flows through the relay which is normal open so it's no light and to the lamp and when we send signal to the, to the relay we uh, turn on the lamp so when I uh, start up the application uh, it connects to Wi-Fi on a fixed IP address and writes the I address to the screen then you can uh, grab phone or whatever device you have on the same net go to this address and slash on turns the lamp on and uh, slash off turns the lamp off just to keep it simple so <clears throat> we see on the screen that the, the top line shows that the relay is not turned off if we look at the diagram we can see that the, the relay is connected to 5 volts and ground and then the signal pin or enable pin is connected to D5 uh, the screen is uh, D1 is the clock SCL pin and D2 is the SDA or data pin to the screen. Then it just needs uh, ground and 5 volts. Uh, it should run on 3 volts but it didn't work um, in this case with me. Then we have the, the light bulb connected to normal open and the common pin. So normally there is there is no flow through the relay but as uh, soon as we send the signal to the signal pin we uh, switch state and the light goes on so let's uh, look at the code i will probably put it on github but it is only around 90 lines so it's rather simple we start by including the esp8266 wi-fi and the wi-fi client and then the web server for the esp8266 the credential file which includes the SSID and password and then for the screen we need the wire and the Adafruit uh, libraries and uh, those you can get by going to the library and search for for example SSD 1306 then you get uh, the Adafruit that I've already installed and also the uh, GFX for the graphics so uh, you see I've already installed that too we have the relay pin D5 <laughs> then we start the uh, an instance of the web server here on port 80 and here is the setup of the screen uh, I set the reset pin to 6 and uh, initiate the display object here this three lines is only to check that you don't have the 64 height uh, screen so you have to change the header file in this header file in the Adafruit library could basically remove this but okay uh, in setup we start by setting the relay pin to output uh, and here we start the display by uh, giving up the i2c address of the display and false since we don't want to use the reset pin display initializes the display with the default screen and then here we clear it immediately it just shows the Adafruit uh, logo and the text and here I have one function called screen that I put into line 0 Wi-Fi relay by Victor this screen function is here basically the height of each line is 11 pixels uh, and here I put uh, uh, is line times height and here I just clean the the line by putting it to black and I set the text size to 1 text color to white cursor to the y coordinate and 0 pixel then I print out the string and display it on the display so it's simple uh, here is the thing that I need to work a little bit on which is regarding having a static IP 
So if you define the IP address here, your gateway, your subnet mask, and your DNS. So if you define all these uh, IP addresses that you can see with IP config or if config, and then you initialize the Wi-Fi with all these parameters, you get a static IP instead of the DHCP, DHCP, which is usually what people use. Then I wait for 200 milliseconds. I start the Wi-Fi with, uh, with the name of the Wi-Fi and password. Uh, just display some connecting string here that increases uh, with period on each loop while it's trying to connect. If it fails to connect, it will restart, but if everything goes well, it just writes the address, gets the local IP, which is this one here, and writes it to line 1. In line 1, it writes go to address, and line 2 is the actual IP address, which is defined here. We handle three different requests. Uh, the root, which is just a slash, is handled by this function. Slash on is uh, relay on and slash off is relay off. Then we start the web server here and we print to the serial uh, that we have started. But I can basically remove this line since I'm having a display instead of serial output. If we look at handle root, it just sends to the server uh, you are connected with h1 HTML tags to have it a little bit bigger. If it gets handle relay on, it just uh, writes uh, to the screen that the relay is turned on. We uh, send digital write to the pin. So, uh, and we send the server this message relay on, relay on. So just, just to show it uh, as a response to the request. <laughs> and the same with off, or it's basically the same, just with off here and here. And we set the pin to high instead of low here. So uh, that's all the code and it works like charm.